Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. The new generation of Windows 11 has attracted a lot of attention. How to download and install Windows 11? And so, Windows 11 installation has failed. Come and take a look. Part one: How to download, install, and set up Windows 11. Part two: How to set Windows 11 installation has failed. Compared with Windows 10, the layout of Windows 11 has changed a lot. The new Start menu lies at the center of the taskbar. Some folder icons are updated. If you plan to install it now, just follow the steps in this video and don't panic if you fail to install. We also have solutions for you. In this part, I'll show you how to install Windows 11 from scratch. Or by upgrading from your old operating system separately. Case one: Windows 11 clean install from boot. Boot your computer from Windows 11 installation media. When you see the Windows Setup window, choose your language and other preferences, and click Next. Then click Install Now. You'll be asked to activate Windows. Enter your product key, or click "I don't have a product key" if you're reinstalling Windows. Select the operating system you want to install, and click Next. Accept the license terms, and click Next. Then choose Costume Install Windows Only. Select the drive where you want to install Windows. And click next. Wait for the installation process to be done. You'll go to Windows 11 setup process, choose the right country, keyboard layout. After a few minutes, you'll get into Windows 11 new desktop. Case two, Windows 11 upgrade from Windows 10, 8, or 7. Download a Windows 11 ISO file from the official website. Open the ISO file and launch the setup exe file. Wait for the Windows 11 setup wizard to be loaded. At the install Windows 11 page, click Next. It will check for updates and check your PC automatically. If your PC meets the system requirements for installing Windows 11. You'll get into the applicable notices and license terms page. Click Accept to continue. At the Ready to Install page, you can change the default option by clicking Change what to keep. Confirm the pending operation and click Install. However, some users are faced with the problem of Windows 11 installation has failed. The reason is that the computer does not fulfill the minimum system requirements. For installing Windows 11, let's see the details. The minimum system requirements for Windows 11 are in this picture. If the configuration is not met, then the installation will fail. If all of the requirements are met, the Windows 11 installation has failed. The most likely cause is that TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot are not available in the BIOS. The steps below will tell you how to enable TBM 2.0 and Secure Boot, as well as how to install Windows 11 without using TBM 2.0 or Secure Boot. Method one: So Windows 11 has failed to start by enabling TBM 2.0 and Secure Boot. First, determine whether the system has a TBM chip and whether it is enabled. Type. TPM.msc into the run box and click OK. The TPM management window on the local computer will open. If the status is the TPM is ready for use, it means that the TPM is enabled. You can verify the TPM version for the TPM manufacturer information in the lower right corner. If the TPM version is compatible but disabled, the computer will prompt. Compatible TPM can't be found. Then turn it on in the BIOS. 
To quickly access the Windows Advanced Option menu, we will press the Shift key while clicking Restart to enter the boot page, and select Troubleshoot. Select Advanced Options. Select UEFI Firmware Settings to enter the BIOS settings. The name in the BIOS setting will be different because the motherboard of the computer is different. TPM or PTT have the same function, just open it directly. However, if you are in legacy BIOS mode, it is not possible to enable Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. But we still can bypass the Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 by modifying some registry keys values on the Windows PC. Method 2. Sub Windows 11 has failed to start by bypassing the Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. Press Windows Set R to open the ROM box and type Rigidit to open the registry. In the registry editor window, navigate to the following directory. Right click on the blank space on the right. Select New, and then select Key. A new registry key will be added on the left side of the editor. Please be sure to name it LabConfig. Under the LabConfig key, right-click the blank space to create two D-word value. Name them Bypass TPM check and Bypass Secure Boot check. Then double-click the two D-word and it did their value data field to 1. We finished, close the registry editor window and restart the computer to make the new registry key take effect. If your installation has failed and the system can be restored, besides, there is no earlier restore point or backup to restore the computer, then you need to find a functional computer to create a bootable media and make a system image. Finally, you can use the bootable media and enter the WinPE system and restore Windows. Here, I'd like to recommend a professional backup and restore software, Omni Backup Pro, which can handle this issue perfectly. Just Google Omni Backup Pro, download and install it. This software has a plan interface. We can just click Tools, to make a bootable media. And then click Backup and System Backup to make a system image on another computer. Next, click Restore and select the system image to get your computer back to normal. That's all about Windows 11 install and the solutions to Windows 11 installation has failed. Two cases of Windows 11 installation and methods to solve TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot issue are provided. I may suggest you to make regular backups and do not panic when your computer cannot boot. You can get it back to normal with Ami Backup Pro. Hope this video will solve your problem when you install Windows 11. Want to know more about Ami? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.